You see what he's doing, right? If Trump wins in November, they're going to say it's Ukrainian meddling. Forget Russian meddling. It'll be something, but they do not trust the people. That came through uh, undisputably today. It was disgusting. Joining me now is Congressman Doug Collins, member of Trump's impeachment defense team and ranking member on the House Judiciary Committee. Congressman, they tried, in my view, to disenfranchise American voters with the bogus Russia collusion case that he repeated today, by the way. And now they've moved on to this because they can't stand the idea that Trump could beat any of their, you know, shining stars from Bernie to Biden uh, in November. So they cannot, they can't take it. And I really come to the conclusion that if their people don't win, they have to say it's rigged. End of story. Oh, they have to, Laura. I mean, think about this. Adam Schiff and Jerry Nadler in particular, who went on a giant tirade last night, you know, talking about the Senate, what they're trying to do is do two things. Well, number one, they want to say that the, if they don't do something now, the election is rigged. Everybody needs to be aware of that. And number two, they're saying if the Senate doesn't do what they want them to do, then the Senate is corrupt. But let me just say something. For everybody who's watched the Democratic primary presidential field, that clown car can't win. They keep getting out and they just keep getting worse. Because when compared to the president, who has actually has something to run on, trade deals, economy that's booming, a foreign policy that works, they know that they can't win on the facts. So they're trying to do everything they can to undermine a president who has done everything he said he would do, which is unique in politics. But he's not only done what he said he would do, he's followed through through and reached out to millions of Americans who have been cut out of a system, African Americans, Hispanics who are at, their high, at the lowest unemployment rate in years, they're being put into the system, things like the First Step Act, like criminal justice reform, where this president reaches out, where all the Democrats have done is use them as political pawns. This is why you're seeing what you're seeing on the floor, a rehash of tall tales, lies, and dishonesty when they know they can't have candidates who can beat him at the ballot box. So yeah. what do you do? You disenfranchise people, you tell them that they can't do it. Well, I was over there today. I decided to torture myself and go over to the Senate chamber to watch some of this nonsense. I have, I have my own thoughts and I have a little story about what happened later on in the show. But it was, it was, it was something to watch. And the, this moment that we're going to play next, again, shows the American people that what they couldn't prove in the House with a quid pro quo, they'll just simply restate in the Senate trial as if they had proven it. Watch. Senators, witness testimony, text messages, emails, and the call record itself confirm a corrupt quid pro quo for the White House meeting. The president and his allies have offered no explanation for this effort, except the president can abuse his office all he likes, and there's nothing you can do about it. Congressman Collins, where was the bribery article of impeachment then? If there was a quid pro quo, what, why'd they drop it? They don't have it, Laura. I mean, this is honest. I mean, look at it here. They, they had no, no case in the House. They went to two of the weakest impeachment articles ever been written. You know, Jonathan Turley stated that. Many others have stated that. This abuse of power nonsense is saying, we'll just say whatever we want to say and call it abuse of power. Obstruction of Congress is simply Adam Schiff and Jerry Nadler pitching a temper tantrum because they didn't get what they wanted. And now they're going to the Senate to say, Senate, we didn't want to do our job. We didn't want to do what we're supposed to do. So you do it for us. I mean, yesterday when Adam Schiff said, well, we didn't call John Bolton because he said that uh, he would uh, take it to court, and then we just backed off. Well, that's just saying that you either give in to my demands or I'm going to say that you're corrupt anyway. They can't prove their case in the House. Now they're going to the Senate, and it's just, I guess what it is is they repeat it enough times, they're hoping beyond hope, beyond hope, that somebody will believe that it's actually true. The problem is nobody's listening to them anymore. They're saying the same things that we've already disproven, because here's the interesting issue, uh, Laura. They're not only are they missing on the process, which they so destroyed in the House, but they're losing on the facts because this president did nothing wrong. End Congress of story. Acquit. Move on. Congressman, great to see you tonight. 